Hi, my name is Brianna and I'm here today to do a what's in my diaper bag video. I've had a lot of subscribers request to see what's in my diaper bag and I should preface this with I have a 16 month old toddler. His name is Landon. So these are all of the things that are in my diaper bag for a toddler aged boy. <laughs> I found this it's a Betsy Johnson leopard print diaper bag, which my husband loathes because he says it is the most not masculine diaper bag possible, unless it's probably like hot pink. But I got this for super cheap. I think it was $40 from Burlington Coat Factory way, way, way back when I found out that I was pregnant. And I actually really love this bag. It is kind of falling apart though, so I'm happy I got it on the super cheap. But it has a ton of pockets and storage and it's just really easy to carry and leopards are neutral and it goes with everything. At least that's my opinion. Let's dive into this diaper bag. So actually I'm going to show you on the outside first. I always have Purell or some kind of hand sanitizer. Usually I like stock from the Bath and Body Works ones too. Just, you know, you're doing gross things all the time. That's why you have a diaper bag. So you need the Purell. Oh, my, speaking of my husband, his lactate tablets are right in here. He's lactose intolerant. Then I have some children's Motrin or infant's Motrin, I guess, and I always get the non-dye because I had a really bad reaction to red dye when I was a kid, so I always make sure I buy Landon the non-dye kind just in case. I have no idea. He could be allergic, but I don't know because I don't give him anything with red dye. Then I have some wet ones, the sensitive kind just because Landon has a little bit of sensitive skin, sanitary napkin. Then a bunch of Kleenex packages because you always need Kleenex for either yourself or your kiddo. Some Clorox to go wipes. These say they kill cold and flu viruses. If I ever have to use a public restroom changing table, I do always like to wipe them down with this or even wherever I'm changing him, I'll wipe it down before and after. He's got a little t-shirt in here in case he makes a mess and needs a t-shirt change. Also, I have a pack of like a onesie, a pajama onesie in here just in case you're over somewhere where he needs to be in PJs and sleep on the car ride home. Even though he's really bad at that, he usually will not sleep unless he's in his crib or in his pack and play, but just in case I ever need to put him in his PJs because we're leaving someplace late. And I put a lot of things, and sorry for the crinkly noise, in Ziploc bags just because I've learned if you take this out, you can put whatever got messy or dirty inside of it to kind of contain the mess so that the wet clothes or barfed on clothes aren't in your diaper bag touching other things. So, little fun tip. By the way, Coley is, she's not really joining me. She's sleeping through this video. She's giving me a one-eyed evil stare right now. Like, why do you always have to shoot videos, mom? Sorry. Um, another thing on the outside, I had it like clipped onto the bag here, is just a little quad clip. I find it really convenient to have this to put my hair up in case, you know, it rains or is really hot and humid since it's summer. And I just have some like Radley fun toys. To be honest with you, I think these were a little bit better when he was a little younger, but sometimes if he just has, you know, he's not in the terrible twos yet, even though I feel like we're already there, it's just a good distraction. Blah, blah. It's a good distraction for him so that he stops shrieking or screaming or having to melt down someplace. I have some of these Johnson's, they're hand and face wipes. And I really like these because they smell really good. And I, again, feel like they're really good for his sensitive skin. If he ever gets like something icky on him or sticky, they're just really good to wipe off. And I have these all natural, they're pacifier and teether wipes. And he's not the type of kid that uses a binky, but I like to have these for in a restaurant if he drops a toy on the floor or drops a utensil on the floor. I have these to kind of like clean up anything on the go that could be gross. We love this little elephant rattler too. It's like really fun when you pull it, it goes like, I feel like it's a really good distractor. I have a little mini first aid kit. I've never used this, but like the OCD first time mom freaking me got this way back when and she's always hung out in here. I've got a little bib with a little catch-all. These are like the best thing ever for toddlers, especially if yours is like mine, who can be kind of picky and he'll like drop cheese all the time down him. So it catches everything, it's pretty nice. Then I love this little to-go pack. It's for the little food pouches and it's a little spoon that you can like screw on the end of them and it locks nice and tight in there. So this is a nice convenience. Then my husband threw this in here, that's where he works. Um, it's like a little, basically like wet wipes are in there. 
So that's pretty cute. Little keychain. How smart of him throw that in there. There's some gum in here. Some desitin, butt paste that my son loves. If you watch my Snapchat, he was literally screaming when he saw the purple box on our kitchen countertop. So he made me give it to him when he was having breakfast. And I mean, it was in the box. He like didn't have the actual tube, but he was like putting his cereal on the box and eating it off of it like a plate. It was the weirdest thing. I don't know why he loves desitin so much, but he does. Okay, then I have a bunch of like food pouches. So I have some of these like Gerber food pouches. And then I just have some like baby food and actual containers. So usually, again, I like throw everything in the block bag just so that it all kind of stays contained if anything were ever to explode so it doesn't get everything else messy and dirty. Some on the go up and up petroleum jelly. Um, this I feel like, especially when he was younger and would get not necessarily diaper rash, but would just have a lot more messes during the day. This was really, really helpful to make sure it was easy to clean up. I have a travel size baby lotion. I have like a bunch of rings. <laughs> I have a black tank top for myself that I always just throw in here because you just never know when they're gonna have a mess all over you as well. And since black hides the messes, I just have that in there just in case. Also for when I was nursing, if you accidentally start leaking, it's just really nice to have another top to throw on. So black always works best. I have a bunch of spoons, again in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> Some hand sanitizer spray. Even though I usually use the liquid, sometimes this is actually easier to use on your kiddo because then they don't really have to rub it in. You can just kind of spray it on their hands. And an extra pair of socks. I have some cash in a little pocket in here just in case he ever needs any. Oh, what am I talking about? It's not that he needs it. <laughs> then I have this little white noise machine. It actually went inside of this sheep, but just in case we're ever like somewhere where we just need to like put on the noise. It's really simple and easy. And then the most important part of a diaper bag is I have my diapers and wipes, again, in a Ziploc bag, just in case I do have to put a dirty one back in there. But I usually put, depending on you know where we're going, one to three in there, just for running out and about. Depends how long we're gonna be gone. So that I'm extra prepared. And I love that bag came with this really cute little like leopard changing pad. So I have the little leopard changing pad as well. This is his little my phone that he likes to play with and pop buttons. So there you have it. That is what is in my diaper bag. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, I would love to have you subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. I'll put my usernames in the comments box below, but I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.